So I'm sitting here with Lisa getting ready to release an open rescue to the world and we're having a good time and I get a letter from Jane Dole Farms, a whole food supplier, saying that I am an eco-terrorist. And I'm thinking to myself, did these people get one of those dictionaries that gives you kind of the opposite of what a word means instead of what the word means? Because last I recall, terrorism means bringing terror to others. And what they're accusing me of is taking a sick, tortured turkey to the vet. I don't think that's terrorism. But it's, it's a pretty interesting letter, so I thought maybe we could go through this together and get a sense for how Jandal, for how animal agriculture, now Whole Foods think about things. So the letter starts out, It is clear that members of your organization have committed serious criminal activity. It's like, ooh, geez, criminal activity. Let's find out what they have to say next. They have trespassed onto my client's property. Hmm, let's find out more. They have broken locks to my client's hospital barn. So there's two curious things about this. One is broken locks. You know, I don't recall any breaking any locks. I, I think we just walked in. But second, the notion that there is a quote-unquote hospital barn. So Jandol, the Toll Food Supplier, which says that its turkeys are treated humanely, is now saying that all the sick, tortured, and cannibalized animals we found were in such terrible shape because they had a quote-unquote hospital barn. And my response to this is twofold. First of all, if sick and tortured animals make a barn a hospital barn, then every single one of the barns on this farm was a hospital barn. But secondly, for God's sake, if in your hospital the patients are eating each other alive and rotting to death, what kind of hospital is that? So, geez, I, I can't say I'm very sympathetic to this notion that you have a hospital barn, Jendel. So let's go on. Your members have stolen turkeys from that barn. And, you know, my thinking is, if somebody is torturing their dog, is letting their dog starve to death, taking that dog to the vet is not stealing. It's doing the right thing. It's being a decent, compassionate person who does not believe in torturing gentle, innocent animals. And the letter goes on. It is clear that your representatives are guilty, and here's, here's the key point of this letter. It is clear that your representatives are guilty of the crime of eco-terrorism. Oh, good God, eco-terrorism. I mean, I, I was thinking to myself, terrorism, who have we terrorized? I, certainly not the animals, we're helping them, we're taking them to the vet. Not consumers, consumers are happy about this. Not the media either, because the media, I mean, they've been eating it up. The Washington Post, the Huffington Post, and I'm sure a lot of other media outlets will be covering this story. So, who are we terrorizing? And then it came to me. We're terrorizing the corporations. And if that is what they're alleging, that we are terrorists to animal-abusing corporations, and gosh, I have to say, we're guilty as charged. Let's go on. This criminal activity fostered by your organization is reprehensible and cannot be overlooked. Cannot be overlooked. Jeez, I don't know what they're going to do next. Well, here's, here's what they want us to do. Because we are terrorists, they say, the release of this information and footage would be defamatory, subjecting your organization to significant liability. I therefore strongly urge you not to distribute these videos any further and to retract them from the Huffington Post and any other media outlets with whom you may have shared them. So first, I think this person doesn't really understand the First Amendment because if we send something to the Huffington Post, we can retract it all we want. The Huffington Post and the Washington Post are going to publish it anyways. Second, my response is, hell no, we're not retracting anything because everything we publish Everything we shot, every word I've said about this farm is true. And I would be happy for you to sue us and allege that we're eco-terrorists on the basis of this investigation and rescue. So next, the last couple sentences. Jandol Farms prides itself in humane treatment of its flock and has been uniquely recognized by the Humane Society of the United States for its operation. You know, funny thing, I, I've talked to a lot of folks at the Humane Society. I've got a lot of friends at the Humane Society. For some reason, I doubt they would endorse animals eating each other alive or animals having their faces burned off. But, you know, I mean, go with what you know, Jandal. And then finally, it is your organization that has harmed turkeys. Stop your illegal conduct immediately. Now let's just get this straight. A corporation that tortures and kills nearly one million turkeys every year. One million is claiming we are the ones who harm turkeys. My first thought is, this is hilarious. <laughs> My second thought is, if we're able to get to the point as a movement 
where the corporations that are torturing animals are concerned about people harming turkeys, then man, we've made a lot of progress. Terrorism is not bringing an injured animal to the vet. Terrorism is, well, bringing terror to the animals. That is what you are doing, that is what Whole Foods is doing, and so the only terrorists in this room, as far as I'm concerned, are you and the others who are torturing animals for profit. So, Jandal, I have to say, you know, it was a good effort. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful to you for sharing your thoughts, but as regards your demand that we not distribute these videos any further to the Huffington Post, the Washington Post, or anyone else, here's what I have to say. Fuck no. Say goodbye to your letter. We'll see you in court.